Hey guys, welcome back to Economics and Comics. Uh, I picked up some more stuff. Uh, I'm going to do a little grading video. They're just little different things I kind of got for a decent deal. I have more, but these are the ones I'm going to sell on eBay. So I'm going to grade them with you, you know, tell you what they're going for, and tell you what, you know, what they're, what's key about them. So I hope you guys enjoy. So one of the books I picked up is Strange Tales number... 150. I think it's the John Bashima's first work on Marvel. I know it's the first appearance of Umar. Um, you know, it's old. So there's a little bit of a missing piece of paper right here, a missing cover. Um, you know, it's got its little, it's been red, some minor creasing, corner issues. Overall, though, I really like the cover. It's in good condition, it's bright still. The back's nice. Let's see the interior. Yeah, off white to white. It's complete, I've checked. Uh, staples. So the first one's okay. The second one has you know it's it has some issues <laughs> but you know overall it's connected it's all connected stories all there overall it's a nice book so I would say three to four um, I'm gonna give it a VG minus and I'm probably gonna bundle it with this other book I'm gonna sell them on eBay together I think it might be interesting um, here's the next book. I think I'm gonna pair this up on eBay with this this book Dr. Strange number six um, It's the first mother nature and another Umar appearance. So basically they're You know, it's the they're together. So here's, here's the other cover. Sorry And there she is there too. I thought that was kind of cool so This book of course isn't as old it's looking pretty good. Not too shabby. It's definitely in better condition. But of course, it's probably 10 years newer. A little bit of discoloration. A couple, you know, little dings here and there. The light really shows them. Let's check the interior. It's an off white to white for sure. But everything. Oh, look, it's Stan Lee. No, it's not Stan Lee. <laughs> All the little ads are there. These, these, I love looking at old school ads. I mean, it's not really that old. But. So let's see, where's the staples? Come on, staples. There they are, they're intact. Everything looks good with this book. Some people might give it a VF. I'm gonna go ahead and say fine, very fine to be safe. So I'd probably bundle these books together um, with recent sales on both of them together. I would probably ask for about 15 bucks. Not a big deal um, if someone wants to pair them up and likes you know, these characters, it'd be a good mix-up. We'll move on to the next one. A really cool pickup. I was surprised to find this. Uh, Spider-Man and His Amazing Friends number one. I don't think I've ever seen this book before, um, which is amazing enough. Um, and it's definitely a key. Um, there's multiple issues uh, in regard, and I think it has to do with the animated series or something like that, but something about uh, Firestar. I'm not sure if it's her first true appearance, now let's see here, adapted from the original screenplay. But I think that uh, it's uh, her first comic appearance. I'm not 100% on that. Um, but anyway, it's pretty nice. Um, you have a little ding there, there. Some discoloration, but the book's pretty sharp. The, the corner folds up a little bit, but it's nothing bad. I really love the cover because I love uh, 
Green Goblin and uh, Spider-Man. I'll give you a little peek of what I have over here. I got a bunch of cool things, but I love Green Goblin. Anyway, so let's look at the back. And these were selling for all types of prices on eBay. I was really surprised. Not too bad. A little bit of a crunch here. Overall, not too bad. Let's see the inside. Yeah, off white to white. Actually, close to white. Yeah, that Spider Man looks funny right there with his eyes. Trying to find the staples. Everything looks good so far. I think the staples are here. Yeah, they're here. Everything looks good. This book's in good condition. Again, uh, VF minus, but I'm going to go ahead and say fine, very fine on this book. And I'm definitely going to list it for 15 bucks because uh, they're, they're all over the place. But really cool book. We'll move on. Now, this is a really great pickup. Superman Action Comics number 775. Uh, it's the first, uh, what is it, Manchester Black and the Elite. Um, I can't believe it. I got this for a dollar. So don't hate, but um, they're selling for, in this condition, about 25 bucks. So hey, there you go. Sometimes you win. So let's take a quick look. That's not anything. That's just color um, from a DC. That's fine. The cover's nice. Really nice. Let's check out the back. Okay, there you go. There's a ding. There's a thing. So, not bad. We got white pages. We have the white pages alert. Let's find those staples. Everything's in good shape. The book's in great shape. I'm very happy. Staples. Boom. Boom. Very good. This book, two dings. Usually this is how I do it. Nine eight nothing. Nine six has one ding. Nine four has one another ding. So there's two little dings. Okay. Now those dings could get pressed out because they didn't break color. So if you did get it pressed, it's possible you get a nine eight. But let's just pretend. Let's use my system. One ding is nine six. One ding is nine four. So to be safe. I'm going to say, instead of near mint, near mint minus. Okay? That book right there is $25. That's going on eBay for $25 bucks with a near mint minus grade. Pretty good pickup. Here we go. Another one I got. Uh, Batman 550. There's two covers. One is like a 350 price, I think. It's a different cover. And I have the 295 one. And it's the first clay thing in Cameron Chase. Uh... Nice looking book. Let's take a look. It's looking clean. Colors are good. Here's the, where we get in trouble. Usually the back covers are always have something. Put the light on it better. I know I'm being quiet, but I'm trying to be careful. I don't... Wow. There's a little something. 
insignificant. This book, and I was rough on it earlier. I mean, now I'm looking at it again, and it doesn't look as bad. So let's take an inside look. Well, oh, that page is... Hey, what's going on there? Put your underwear on. <laughs> I'm feeling a little bit weird today. That looks like Howard... Is that Howard Stern? Oh, it's Howard Stern. It's Howard Stern down there. Looking for those staples, guys. Usually on these books, you don't have to worry, but you never know. I mean, you just never know. Staples are good. Wow. Uh, I'm giving this book a near mint plus. The only thing I saw, I gotta really look again just to make sure. I wanna be safe. Is that one little thing? So I'm saying 9 6. So I guess to be safe, I'm gonna put near mint. Uh, which is a 9.4. So I was going to sell for 5 bucks. I think I'm going to sell for 10 now. Okay, we got a couple left. Okay. I picked up this one too Batman 681. RIP conclu conclusion. Uh, but what's so great about this is the Alex Ross cover. It's sick. So let's check this book out. I'm trying to get the light just on it good so you can see. Mm, that's normal. Front looks good. Twilight. God, I the movie bother me. Sorry if you like it. A little corner, but that's... I've seen those easily get 9 eighths. That's not a big deal. They're usually pretty in our corners when it's stuff like that. Let's see if I can get the light right on the edge. <laughs> this book looks fine to me. Um, let's take a look inside. Oh, it's like brand new in there. I don't even think anyone read it. Staples. And there's another one. Alex Ross. Um, I'm going with Near Mint Plus on that, 9.6, just to be safe. Um, and again, I was going to sell it for uh, 5 bucks, but I think I'm bumping it up to maybe 10 bucks. See if someone bites. All right, this is a hot pickup, too. The Batman Chronicles, number 21. Not many people know about this, but this is the first work of Brian Michael Bendis and he's been writing a lot of those books I've been doing reviews on so pretty cool um, I didn't know it now I know it <laughs> so now you know it if you're watching so let's take a look and again most of these books I picked up for a dollar so pretty happy about it okay there's a ding ding Little bit of something here. There's a little corner crunch. Not bad. A lot of this stuff's pressable, but I mean, you, you can't afford to press every book unless you got a press. That's what I need to get. I need to get a press, and then we're going to be in business here. A little bit of a little something. Back cover. I feel like my lighting's not good. So let's get the light on that. There's a little bend. Um, that might break color right there. Just normal stuff, I guess. Little crunches, that bing bing. Okay. White pages. If you like Bendis, this is a book to go after since it's his first one. Kind of cool. Let's see. Come on, staples. It's on the ad page. There's where they are. Solidly connected. Everything looks good. So, 
I am going to give it a grade because, I mean, there's some dings and blah, blah. I can't give it a VF because of the crunch. And it's definitely better than Fine Plus. Um, so I'm going to give it a Fine VF, which is like a 7. And most likely it's probably higher than that. Um, so I'm going to list it for 10 bucks on eBay. That's about what the prices are going for. Um, but yeah, it's pretty cool that this is his first work. You know what's funny is... Let me see if it says his name. Oh yeah, there it is. It's under uh, Citizen Wayne, right there. Dentists. Pretty cool. Uh, we got we got one left. Okay, well this is just a normal, normal book. I picked up a lot of Nightwings. I just pulled this one out. It's uh, Nightwing number four, uh, January '97, and it's the first uh, Lady Vic. There's a couple other appearances. Oh, the cover is pretty cool. Anyway, let's take a look. Let's take a look at her. A yeah, little bit of... Like a little downward. I'm guessing the main issues are on the back. Hmm. It's kind of by the staples. What is this? Well, I think maybe just ink. Some more issues there. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. White pages. Let's see. Now that's white. Sables are good. Overall, a good book. Let me take one more look at it. There's a little like fingernail thing or something right there. I don't know, you know, I'm gonna have to do like a VF plus on this. Um, it's pretty decent. So I'll do like five to eight bucks or something like that based on the prices. Just depends. Um, you know, a lot of people list their books on eBay and they they a lot of them will say near mint and then they'll put nine eight next to it. That is not near mint. That is a whole nother number. 9.4 is near mint. So I try to be accurate and give some leeway. Again, this is a secret to eBay. Make sure that you downgrade it one from what you think it is. If you're good at grading and you learn how to do it, it's good to do that. So they're happy again and they feel like they want something. And you want to be accurate on, there, on eBay. You don't want to get negative feedback. I have 100% positive feedback still after, geez, 17 years god i'm getting old now so i hope you guys enjoyed um there, i'm just putting these video videos together and stuff for fun i picked these up i thought i'd go through them with you and uh, they'll be on ebay so i hope you guys maybe learned something see you next time